Congrats on making it through the first three weeks of our course. In this video, I'll provide an overview of the case study assignment that will be due throughout this semester. So here we are on our homepage, and we'll be navigating through our weekly modules button as we do every week. So I'm going to go ahead and click on weekly modules. So here you'll see all of our content. Uh, I've gone ahead and collapsed weeks one through three so that we can just focus on week four. So when you see week four's module, you'll notice that the case study instructions page is now available along with our usual week's assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and click into the case study instructions here. So the purpose of this assignment is to provide a hands-on experience that will allow you to apply everything you've learned in this course to a real-life individual or family. Uh, you'll also get to join a group through the discussion boards so that you can talk to others who have selected the same case study as you. Uh, in a nutshell, here's an overview of what to expect throughout the semester. So in this week, the first task that you need to do is to read through the five case studies and choose one that most interests you. So you can just click on this link right here. Um, through the case studies, uh, there's different ages and situations or challenges that the individual or family is experiencing. Uh, you can pick one because it seems similar to you, or perhaps you might want to pick a case that you imagine your life might be uh, in the future and you want to be prepared for. Uh, what you should also do this week is, if you haven't already, review the Appendix B, the Financial Case Study Rubric. Uh, this can be found at the end of the syllabus, but if you click on this as well, you can look at the rubric and it gives you a feel for the assignment. So I'll go ahead and click it so you can see. So you'll notice here our appendix breaks down the main aspects of the project. So with the case study, you'll analyze what's going on with the family or the individual. Then you'll offer recommendations on how they can address their uh, financial problems. And then you'll also do a short reflection that explains what you learned uh, by going through the case study experience. So I'll go ahead and go back. So take the time to look through the rubric and let me know if you have any questions. So the way I've structured the case study is that you'll have the chance to work through the discussion board with your peers to help you prepare the content for your final paper. It is a two to three page paper that you'll submit near the end of the semester. And so during this week, you're going to join a group for your case study and you'll answer the discussion board for posts. Um, and then just so you know, we have uh, additional discussion boards later in the semester that you will be participating in. Um, and then you'll write the assignment. Here are the five case studies. It gives you a high level uh, view of what uh, they are before you read them. So let's go ahead and click on discussion board four just so you can see what that looks like. But here, uh, the instructions say for the task, you're going to pick one case study. And here's a new process you may or may not have gone through in other classes but you'll need to join the case study group of your choice. So you'll want to click on the people link over on the left right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and click on the groups tab. And then you'll see our five case study groups right here. So depending on which case study you ultimately decide that you want to work on for the semester, you'll just find the appropriate title. And then over here on the right on your screen, there will be a button that says join. I can't see that button because I'm not a student, uh, but once you're in it on your end, you can join whichever group you want. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. So once you've officially joined the discussion board group, then you can go ahead and do your post. Um, you'll introduce yourself to the group. These may be the same folks you've been talking to. They might be new. Um, explain why the case interests you and identify any connections that you see uh, between the case study and the chapters one through four or any of the dis previous discussion boards or conversations you've had with each other. So I'll go ahead and go back one more and go back to our case study instructions. So if you have any questions about the case study as you go through it, please let me know. The case study assignment is an individual assignment. However, 
if you would like to partner with someone in the class to work on the paper together and submit one paper as a pairing, you are welcome to do so. You just have to let me know. And you don't have to decide that right now. Uh, that might be something you talk with your peers in the discussion board group and see how the ideas come forward. Um, and if it makes sense to work with someone who uh, has a similar strategy or approach or perhaps a completely different approach and you like having um, those divergent perspectives in the process, then you can let me know when we get closer to the due date on the written report and then I'll grade the one um, paper for both people. I'll go ahead and go back. And then, so of course, the week four module is here. Uh, it's got the rest of the assignments for the week. And so again, here's the discussion board that'll get you started with your case study pro project. Uh, just want to make sure that you join a group before you post. Otherwise, if you post, it will just go to the main page of the discussion board. Then others who are doing your case study wouldn't necessarily get to see it or respond to it. Let me know if you have questions.